What is up YouTube, it's your boy Johnny A back at you guys with another video. So today's video is going to be about top 5, my personal uh, top 5 investing apps for beginners that you guys should, should check out that, you know, if you're interested in investing, that you want to start investing, these are the top 5 apps I think you should check out. I personally use three of these apps, but I'm going to show you guys the top five uh, investing apps for beginners. So number one is going to be Stash. Now Stash, it lets you invest with as little as $5. And it's going to, when you sign up, you fill out a profile and it's going to make you pick factors like low, uh, low managed low managed risk historical performances it also recommends a set of investments for you it has an auto stash feature it makes it easy uh you know for investing to be a habit in your life and it provides tips and tricks uh so that you could learn more about investing and it gives you you know it lets you pick stocks etfs bonds all that all that good stuff that uh, you guys should definitely invest in um, so from what I've been uh, looking at uh, their homepage here the first month of subscription fees will be waived um, and then I believe when you open a beginners account it's a one dollar a month fee and that includes a pro uh, personal broker brokerage account and access to banking services including stock back rewards now they also have um a growth account which is three dollars a month and that includes uh, the beginner account plus a retirement account so as you can see here the biggest of stash plus is nine dollars a month um and that includes uh, the growth account two custodial investment accounts for minors maybe your kids or nephews whatever you want to do and you get a debit card that earns two times stock back rewards and a month month a monthly market insight report so stash is definitely a, a good app for beginners you know they have all the banking everything retirement like i said and this is definitely a, a great app for beginners so that's number one number two will have to be one of my favorite apps that i've been using since 2017 is definitely acorns now acorns you can see here more than seven million people have downloaded the app um so if you're interested in acorns once you sign up it also lets you pick a portfolio whether you want a conservative portfolio or an aggressive portfolio I have mine on aggressive portfolio basically uh, makes my money work even uh, harder into bigger companies like you know Amazon it puts my money into all these big companies so that I could uh, make money in the long run but anyways once you sign up for acorn it's the one dollar a month and if you want to get debit card because they do offer a debit card and you get an acorns later account which is basically a IRA, a Roth, a Roth IRA. It uh, it's three dollars a month, so you get the debit card and the I Roth IRA for three dollars a month. Now it's free to trade security, free to transfer funds. Um, it also has to grow your knowledge, which is really good if you want to learn more about investing. You can read articles to help help you grow your money, and um. It's it's one of my favorite apps. I also know that for college students, it's free. They have an EDU address for up to four years. Um, the spare change that gets invested. This is one of the main things that's different with Acorns is that your spare change gets invested into your portfolio, and um, you're not even gonna feel it. So you could connect your debit card, your credit card, uh, with the app, and every time you use your debit card and credit card. The spare change that you would normally get in cash gets automatically invested into your portfolio. So, Acorns is one of the best. You have it has so many uh, different things you can do with the app. 
I'm gonna basically do a, uh, maybe a review on the app, so stay tuned for that video. I just wanted to give you guys some apps that you can start doing using to invest now. So Acorns would be my uh, number two. And then number three, we're gonna go to Robinhood. Now with Robinhood, I don't use this app. For me, Robinhood is more like a more hands-on. You get to speak, pick your, your stocks your bonds and they also have a new thing called fractional shares it basically means that or fractional shares basically when you own a certain percentage of a certain company with as little as one dollar so you don't have to f uh, buy the full stock at full full price so <clears throat> like I said, the, gr the good thing about Robinhood is that it lets you invest in stocks ETFs and all of that for free you know, it gives you an instant deposit, and, and a standard account gives you access to instant deposits, and you don't have to wait for your funds to process when selling stocks or making deposits up, up to $1,000. Now, they also have a Robinhood uh, Gold account, with give, which gives you access to extra buying power, larger instant deposits, and, and extended trading hours. So, they, ha they have an option to go gold. I think that's more money. Um, I believe I'm not too sure because I don't use a Robinhood app, but it's definitely a good app. And they also, uh, you could also invest into Bitcoin and e Ethereum, which started back in 2018. So it's, it lets you easily stay on top of your investment investments and real time market data. So uh, Robinhood would be a really good choice, but like I said, it's more hands-on, so I would do a little bit more research um, when investing into companies, you know, buying stocks and all that, because it's more hands-on. Unlike Acorns and stocks, is all more all the all of all of investing. So definitely, Robinhood is definitely up there. Um, and then my next app, it has to be a. Uh, N1 Finance. Now, N1 Finance is kind of like Robinhood because it's more hands-on if you want it to be that way. They also offer auto investing. So, what I like about N1 Finance is that they give you like, they could, they build a flexible custom portfolio. Now, it's either individual stocks, funds, or you could choose from dozens of pre-mixed options and it's all free. The app is free. Um, it also has a paid option, lets you, lets you pick the time of day to invest, among other things. It's also suitable for beginners who don't want a lot of hand-holding. Like I said, it's also all the investing. for. So it's kind of like Acorns and, and Stash. Now, you can see here, if you get the M1 Plus account, um, you could borrow as 2%. You could spend and earn money if you get the debit card. It has that option, but then you got to pay money for that. So I have a free free version and it's uh, been working well for me I have a dividend portfolio is not hasn't been making me a lot a lot of money I think it's because I haven't been investing too much money in it the M1 finance is a really really great app for beginners and you could read articles you could have uh, like I said you have mixed portfolios you could choose from from top uh, investors Many, many things. Like I said, I'm going to do reviews on these apps. That way you guys could get a little bit more of a hands-on of what I'm actually talking about here. So that's number four. Number five, it would have to be me personally. It's definitely SoFi. Now, SoFi is free. It's free investing. Um, it has stock bits. Uh, you know, stock bits is like it's, just, it's the same thing as holding a fractional share of a company with as little as one dollar. And I believe if you get people to sign up into an investing account, um, you get a hundred dollars, but they have to deposit one thousand dollars, I believe. But SoFi is a really great app. They also they also have the option to speak with uh, fi a financial advisor that could help you get saving and investing your money right away they could uh choose the best uh portfolios for you and the uh, etfs you could also buy crypto and they also have a debit card that you could start using 
put money into it. It's not like Acorns, if you use the debit card, it invests your spare change. It's com completely different. So SoFi would be great for you. It also uh, lets you, it's more hands-on as well. You could let you pick your stocks, or your ETFs. And if you're into crypto, then you can do that as well. So, or you can let it do all of investing, which is great, which is what I have it on. And to me, this has to be number five for me, for beginners. Great app for beginners. All of these are great ads for you guys if you guys want to start investing in 2020. So definitely check these out. And as for that, that's the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully, it gets you motivated to start uh, investing, and investing and checking these apps out. Excuse me for my voice. I actually just got up early today, and uh, I just wanted to start recording right away. So. These are the top five apps you guys should check. Remember, it's it's Stash. Stash is number one. Acorns number two. Number three is Robinhood. Number four is M1 Finance, and number five is SoFi. So I'll leave uh, the uh, all the the investing apps in the description below in case you guys want to check them out. And make sure you guys give a thumbs up, like. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos on investing saving money on my portfolios and advice on how to save money so it's your boy johnny a on to the next video peace